Muslim, the things I say in everything I do every day. We are Muslims, the things we say in everything we do every day. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My little ones, I'm glad that you love listening to the story of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear children, whenever we hear his name, we say, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the Arabic phrase. It means, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Who is the best person to follow in our life? Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the one chosen by God to teach us how to worship, the one who created us, and to teach us what is right and what is wrong, what is halal and what is haram. Allah has chosen Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to teach us to do good deeds and have kind manners, and to teach us his religion, the religion of Islam. Those who love Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and follow the commands of God will be loved by God and go to heaven or Jannah. Jannah is the most beautiful place ever. Everything and anything we love is there. Whatever we think Jannah may be like, it will be more beautiful than what we can imagine. Long ago, Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, built the Kaaba with his son Ismail. While building the Kaaba, Ibrahim, peace be upon him, kept praying to God to send the people someone, a messenger, to teach them what is right and what is wrong, what is halal and what is haram, to make the people good and kind. God responded to his prayers and chose Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be that teacher who teaches all people the message of God. Do you know when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born? He was born in the year of the elephant. Now, let's hear the story of the elephant. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born in the year of the elephant. In that year, the tyrant king of Yemen, Abraha al-Ashram, and his huge army of elephants headed towards Mecca to destroy the Kaaba. But why? Well, the tyrant king Abraha al-Ashram had built a very big temple in Yemen. He had decorated it with gold and silver. He wanted people to come to his temple and worship there instead of going to the Kaaba. But the Arabs, they refused to obey him. Abraha al-Ashram became so angry, he swore to destroy the Kaaba. Abraha and his army surrounded Mecca. They were determined to attack the Kaaba. The tribes of Mecca decided to fight against Abraha, but they realized that they could not afford such a war and gave up. Abd al-Muttalib, the Prophet's grandfather, who was then the leader of the Quraysh, advised the people to leave their homes, go to the mountainside, and pray to Allah to help them. Abd al-Muttalib went to meet Abraha, and he told him that the owner of the Kaaba would take care of his house. He said, the lord of this house will protect his house. Abraha claimed that no one could defend the Kaaba from him. The next morning, Abraha prepared himself, his troops, and his elephant. Just before the final attack, when Abraha's elephant was directed towards Mecca, the elephant knelt down, refusing to move. They tried everything to make the elephant stand again, but in vain. They beat him and hurt him with weapons, but still the elephant refused to get up and march towards Mecca. Allah the Almighty then sent birds that resembled hawks. Each bird held three stones, one in its beak and one in each leg. The birds dropped these stones on Abraha and his army, killing them. No one survived but a few men who returned to Yemen to inform the people of the death of Abraha and his army. Abd al-Muttalib and the people of Mecca thanked God. In the same year, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was born. And do you know the name of Prophet Muhammad وسلم's father? It is Abdullah ibn Abd al-Muttalib. And what's his mother's name? Do you know? Amina bint Wahab. Amina bint While Prophet Muhammad's mother was pregnant, his father died. 
He didn't see him. He hadn't been born yet. When his mother, Amina bint Wahab, saw her baby, she called his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib. He looked at him. He found him a very handsome baby. His mother, Amina, told his grandfather that she dreamt of light coming up out of her body and lightened everywhere. His grandfather was really happy. He felt that this little baby would not be an ordinary person. And when he grows up, he will teach the world and will make people see the right matters as clearly as light. His grandfather said, I'll name him Muhammad. The people asked him, what does the name Muhammad mean? And he told them, it refers to an adored person. Allah loves such a person and loves his kind manners. And the people love this type of person and love his good manners. But the baby will not stay with his family. He's going to leave his mother and grandfather. But who will take him? To be continued. Thank you.